Good Friday morning. Larry Sprinkle here along with Chris McKay. It's time for uh, our wake up weather situation here as we take a look at show. It, what a morning it's been. Yeah. I mean, locally, things are okay, but if you take a look, uh, Across the region, big changes have over the next 12 to 24 hours. Got the latest in on the hurricane, by the way. What's that? Here we go. Here we go. This is this is the 8 a.m. advisory. Wind still at 85 miles per hour. So That's still a sizable absolutely. Category 1 hurricane. Moving now north at about 9 miles per hour. The current position puts it just to the south-southeast of Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Landfall maybe somewhere between Charleston, Myrtle Beach, don't you think, Chris? Somewhere in that area right there. Yeah, I, yeah. I think the one thing that's changed a little bit, it's trending a little bit further north. But uh, I want people to focus on one thing. I think a lot of people are kind of underplaying this because, yes, it's not a Category 4 storm anymore. It doesn't have the same impacts as Florida. But this is still a major situation as far as the flooding goes. Storm surge value is about four to seven feet. That's from the Charleston area, and that includes all the way up to about the Myrtle Beach area. So uh, a sizable push of water is going to happen, especially northern edge, and that's one of the reasons why it's under a hurricane warning. Without a doubt, and that, that hurricane warning extends all the way from Charleston right up to the Grand Strand, Myrtle Beach, all the way to Oak Island, all those south-facing beaches right there. And for our area, uh, most of the Charlotte metro area, we are under a tropical storm warning. Doesn't happen that often. We certainly mm -hmm. have that right now. We could see sustained winds. That's a constant wind up to 30 miles an hour. Then you get some gusts up to 50. That's tree, trees down, power lines. I mean, it's certainly, and then the, the amount of rainfall we get, Chris, three to six inches of rain. It's kind of all over the place as far as totals. Focusing on the down trees, um, it, it doesn't really take a lot. It just depends. We've actually had some down trees, just some older ones, like yeah. that have come down when there has been barely a breeze. We had a down tree that was blocking a road when I was doing traffic in Chester County. Right. The winds aren't even that bad. So we will have down trees regardless. I think people focus in and say, oh, the winds aren't all that high. Here, if it rains, if you have gust to 35, that's enough to uproot some of these shallow rooted trees. So we will have down trees that will take out power. And that also ups most of the deaths that come from wind damage are from fallen trees, so and, keep that in mind. And those older trees, particularly like in the Myers Park neighborhood, where those trees were 100 years old, those are the ones that typically can go down. Those are the gigantic trees. You can see the track takes it, uh, the remnants across the Charlotte area, then all the way north of here, track it across into areas in the southwestern corner of Virginia as we get into the early part of the weekend. I kind of want to just show you the areas and the different types of wind speeds. You, you coastal areas, 100% chance they're going to yes. have tropical storm you, force winds. You will have tropical storm okay. force winds, and also you will have hurricane force winds at least somewhere, I would say, really between Charleston and Myrtle Beach. Yeah. That looks to be the sweet spot. We, we did a, a weather cue on, on Wednesday about the dirty side of the storm. That's the right side for where it's moving. Looks like that is just going to be just where at least the most intense winds are going to be. And some of those could be in, in those areas like Oak Island. In yeah. North Carolina, up towards uh, just south of Wilmington in that area. Uh, now, one we're going to eliminate, at least in our areas, the yes. fact that we're not going to see any severe storms to cause the east of here. And when you see a probability, people go, that's not that much. Actually, it pretty much is. Yes. And that's in the eastern part of North Carolina. That means if you have 20 thunderstorms, one of those could be rotating to produce a tornado. And the reason why we're not really going to see anything is because of this map. Look at these temperatures that we are looking at uh, across the area. Right now we have 53 degrees in Charlotte. This is over on the traffic computer, by the way. 53 degrees in Charlotte. But then meanwhile, it's 71 degrees over in Cape Hatteras. Wilmington is at 67 yeah. degrees. If we can pop over to the other computer... Uh, 63 in Myrtle Beach. Really, you need much warmer temperatures. If this was a true warm core storm, we would be dealing with a much better chance for widespread severe weather. I think that we would have much heavier rain rates. But this cooler air, because we have the stationary front that is going to be twisted up into everything, that's trapping that cooler air in the mountains. 47 degrees in Boone, 51 in Asheville. So that's what really the big protecting is. So yeah, be thankful for the. Thank goodness. I mean, that's going to. It's miserable us. though. It's miserable to be out in it, but especially later today with the heavy rain and uh, and the high winds and the cooler temperatures. And so what we're looking at as we head to, uh, into the mid part of the morning all the way through the evening and into the uh, early part of the morning. That's those high winds out there. 
when you, you know, we say 20, 30 mile an hour constant winds, that is a high wind right there. That yes. means it's not stopping. It's steady wind. Then you get a gust of 50. Then the heavy rain on top of that. Yeah, and I, I would. It's it's not too late because we haven't really hit the peak winds right now. Uh, according to some of Larry's graphics, that we'll go back to. It looks like the peak winds are really going to be late afternoon through this coming evening that we're going to have the best chance for that. But really, all in all, the remnants of this there there they are. Um, the main circle of uh, circulation. So the main center of this, just to the right, that's where you're going to have the strongest winds. It's tracking a little bit further east of Charlotte, so it's still got the 40, 45. That's a lot. Yeah, but notice yeah. that Shirah right there. That's right near the center. So I think it's Chesterfield County, Richmond, and Anson County. You guys have the best chance for the strongest winds and uh, the most damage that could come from this. And so that's uh, that's going to be the issue. That's around that's 7 o'clock this evening. Some of those higher winds will be between about 6 and midnight tonight. Uh, something to think about. you got plans out. Make sure you guys you got the batteries. Your phone is going to be charged, and uh, make sure that's uh, hopefully it's done already by now, uh, because we are definitely going to see some very high winds. And there is a radar a picture. Some of the heaviest rain right now tracking in the areas around Wilmington, North Carolina, around Charleston. They already they had a already had a uh, flood warning there, mm -hmm. by flood warning in Charleston. It just shows the extent of the amount of heavy rain they've already had in that area. These look at these. These are the constant winds right here, all the way from uh, now into the uh, midnight hour. Somewhere from 22 to about 30 miles per hour. No, those are usually wind gusts that we yeah. see around here. Usually it's like, oh, that's yeah. a gusty day. Yeah. Th that, that means it's nonstop mm -hmm. blowing through the day. And y you saw the radar. It started raining already. Larry's about to show you it's not really going to stop for most of the day. It's just going to be on off rain. Gusty winds. It's just going to be a miserable day. Good news about the weekend. Yes. Sunday, I think Sunday afternoon should be all right. Yeah. It should be a great, great day for football action. Huge improvements compared yeah. to what we said earlier in the week. And then next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, back to sunshine. Temperatures in the mid-70s by the end of next week. We'll obviously be here throughout the day and then uh, right through the evening, overnight, and tomorrow all day. You'll be weather aware here with WCNC. Perfect evening to maybe stay in and just yeah. relax and watch some WCNC. And listen to that wind and the rain. Stay safe. See you Monday.